crazy our minds work. Like, you can say something negative and believe it, and it actually manifests itself. You know, I, I actually didn't read for a majority of my life because I felt like there was no point. <laughs> I have 
that's when we'll do a video together but honestly I'm in no rush for that and I'm not gonna force him to do that so what do I do when I have anxiety like I mentioned earlier I like to watch ASMR or listen to ASMR sometimes I like to go on a walk I always prioritize going outside every single day so I can just breathe in some fresh air and be in nature and in the environment outside okay I also like to read, but not all the time. Like, I don't read because I have anxiety. I just like to read. But when I do, I like to read, you know what I mean? Um, and I think so far that's all the things I currently do when I have some sort of anxiety or worry or fear. What is my favorite restaurant or fast food place to eat? You guys are going to roast me. You guys are going to roast me. Um, it's not a restaurant eat at but it is a fast food chain and I love <laughs> you know what maybe love is a strong word I really like Burger King okay I love the Whopper from Burger King that's all I gotta say honestly recently I've um and discovered a really really good Korean restaurant that I like to go to amazing food amazing did I go to college? Yes, I did, and I graduated in May this year. Someone said, I saw you in the likes of some of the tennis players I follow. Are you a tennis fan? Who are your favorite players? When I read that, I was like, ain't no way you can see who I like on Instagram. But yes, I have always been a tennis fan. I love watching tennis, and I actually took my first tennis lesson this year. Life-changing. Like, oh, I remember. <laughs> It was amazing, like I'm so grateful, but I would say I gotta put respect on his name, even though we don't play no more, he retired, but Roger Federer is a GOAT, period. Um, Roger Federer, he's just like a feather on the court, you know, he moves so smoothly, he has a beautiful serve, a beautiful backhand, he serves face all the time, like, period. As far as youngsters go, I would have to say Carlos Alcaraz has an exceptional tennis game, okay? He's amazing, uh, but I hope he stays on a good path, okay? Coco Golf, Daniil Medvedev. First of all, his first name is beautiful, Daniil. That is actually my boyfriend's favorite player, but I also like him too. I'm a little iffy on this one, but I'm gonna say Ben Shelton, only because of his match between he did really well against Tiafu. Djokovic, uh, he has some good moments, but I just discovered him this year, and I think he has a really good, you know, tennis game and head on his shoulders, but we shall see about him. Nick Kyrgios, even though he doesn't, I think he didn't play all year, if I'm not mistaken, uh, due to injuries and, you know, external happening in his life and I'm trying to think of more people um honestly I think that's it for now I think that's all I can remember what influences my role play characters like Jessica and other characters so I don't be thinking about role plays I really don't I really just think about it I'm not gonna say I don't think about it. I just get up here and just, you know, do what I gotta do. But I do just think about a, a common name. And I don't know why, but Jessica is the most comfortable name I can say over and over again. And it's so funny. Um, I do get inspired by other people as well, like other ASM artists for some of my characters. But it's really just, you know, me thinking about certain people I've encountered in my life or other people I've encountered in their life to have some sort of relatability. <laughs> relatability. <laughs> How old am I? I just turned 22. What is my background slash like come up story? I was born and raised in New York City. I'm African American. I'm 5'7". I'm 22. <laughs> what else do I have to say? Also, side note, I find it so interesting that most ASM artists are tall. Oh, most of us are like 5'7", 5'9", 5'10", 
was going on because we're all the same height. I did not have access to a lot of things. Uh, I did not grow up with a lot of money. And what else? Do, what else do I say? When I was younger, I struggled with learning. When it came to learning at the same pace as my classmates, so that's something that I struggled with when I was younger. I've always been a not a straight A student. Definitely in college, I became a straight A student, but before that, I was not a straight A student, but I wasn't doing bad. I was just an average student. I've only played one sport in my life, like an actual team sport, and that was in middle school. <laughs> I was a part of the girls volleyball team, and after that, girl, I ain't playing no sports because I have a horrible shoulder problem. I think I mentioned this before, but I was born with an extra rib, according to the doctor that I went to, and the x-rays that I saw, okay? So I have this really excruciating pain in my left shoulder that I've been living with for a majority of my life, even though no one, no one can tell, but at certain moments, it really does hurt a lot, and I, you know, was given the option of physical therapy, which I did do at that time, and I think that's all you guys should know about my background. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you are doing well and everything is okay with you. If you guys have any video suggestions, let me know down below. Comment whatever moment was your favorite during this video. And if you have some similarities to me regarding the Q&A, okay? But I will see you guys next time.